Please excuse a short advertisement before I proceed. I am offering an audio course in conservation biology. Details are at the link in the description immediately beneath this video. What's so disgusting, you ask, referring to the title of this video? The sender of a recent email message said my work was disgusting because I read from a script. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to read that part. Oh well, I already read it. From my script. On the screen. I write the scripts and my memory isn't nearly good enough to remember 6 to 11 minutes of material. So, sorry, not sorry. Almost every newscaster reads text written by someone else using a teleprompter. The teleprompters obscure the fact that they are reading. If you really find me disgusting because you can see my eyes move, then buy me a teleprompter or stop watching these videos. While I'm ranting, I'll point to the many people who comment on social media indicating that I go from climate change to human extinction in one simple step without providing enough explanation along the way. That's a misunderstanding, of course. I don't ever go from abrupt irreversible climate change to human extinction in one simple step. Maybe some folks fall asleep in the middle parts where I provide detailed explanations. I know, I know. I need frequent naps too. While you're napping, I'm pointing out the various means by which loss of habitat for human animals will lead to our extinction. I'll do the same, again, in this video. Please try to stay awake. Bear in mind that I presented the simplified, hour-long version of this story on December 11th, 2021 with an invited presentation titled Paths to Extinction, presentation by Professor Guy McPherson. I include a link to this nine-month-old video in the description immediately beneath this video. This video is among the least watched videos in this space. If you're still awake when this video ends, you can watch it. Again, I will provide a definition of habitat. To do so, I turn, again, to the peer-reviewed literature. Specifically, I quote from a paper in the spring 1997 issue of Wildlife Society Bulletin, written by Linnea Hall and colleagues. Quote, we therefore define habitat as the resources and conditions present in an area that produce occupancy, including survival and reproduction, by a given organism. Habitat is organism-specific. Habitat is the sum of the specific resources that are needed by organisms. Wherever a, an organism is provided with resources that allow it to survive, that is habitat. End quote. Human hubris prevents most people from noticing that we are animals. In fact, calling a person, a human animal, an animal is an insult. In fact, we are vertebrate animals. We are also mammals. As I pointed out many times in this space, the ongoing and projected rates of environmental change are far too abrupt to allow successful adaptation by vertebrates or mammals. This obviously includes the vertebrate mammals known as Homo sapiens. Yes, that means you. Yes, that means us. Of course, growing your own food might add a few days or weeks to your life. Living in a bunker might add a few miserable weeks or months. Having spent abundant money and time on learning how to grow and preserve food, I know that that life is not for me. Ditto for life in a bunker. I choose to live here and now, rather than in the nightmare of future life in a bunker. I choose to live with intention and love, rather than with whimsy and fear. We are already losing habitat throughout the world, as I have pointed out previously in this space. My peer-reviewed article published in Academia Letters indicates a few means by which we could lose habitat for human animals on Earth. It was published on April 1st, 2021. The paper is not an April Fool's joke. Rather, it points out that the process of losing habitat is already underway. You can find and read the paper beneath the Written Works tab at GuyMcPherson.com. We have produced and released six videos in this space that describe the various means by which we are driving ourselves to extinction. Each of these videos is titled Means of Extinction, and each includes a subtitle. The sub subtitles include, for example, Death by a Thousand Cuts and Loss of Aerosol Masking. Each of these videos provides details about loss of habitat and the subsequent extinction of humans. Each is associated with a blog post at GuyMcPherson.com that includes links to the works I cite in the videos. And if that's not compelling enough to keep you awake, we've also produced videos about the importance of the ongoing and projected rates of environmental change. Consider, for example, a video about the San Benedicto rock wren going extinct within a matter of days. Titled, Edge of Extinction, Examples of Rapid Extinction, it was released on March 20th, 2019. Here's the short version of the story about the extinction of the San Benedicto rock wren. 
The San Benedicto Island is located off the Pacific coast of Mexico. It is uninhabited by humans. It was formerly inhabited by the San Benedicto rock wren, a small songbird. However, the island experienced a volcanic eruption on August 1st, 1952, that covered the island with pumice and ash. As a result, habitat for the San Benedicto rock wren was lost immediately. Bear in mind that the bird could fly, and it undoubtedly flew to the nearby mainland and also to the nearby chain of islands. However, there was no habitat for the San Benedicto rock wren on the mainland or on the nearby islands. The bird was extinct within two weeks. Extinction is forever. In general, so is loss of habitat. As a result, the San Benedicto rock wren disappeared from Earth. Forever. And, did I mention that it could fly? Humans cannot fly. Shortly after habitat is lost for human animals on Earth, we will all die. In other words, we will go extinct. As I have indicated here and with many other videos, Earth has already lost considerable habitat for humans. This process shows no signs of slowing, and considerable evidence indicates it is accelerating. Apply every wish to all the work I quote being wrong. If you want to experiment with prayer, now is the time. If, you into, if you're into action, love the ones you're with. Treat them well. Treat yourself well, too. Be decent people. A truly revolutionary and radical act. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Click the bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified about future videos. Become a member of this channel for additional perks at as little as 99 cents per month. Mostly, though, thanks for watching.